Warning, this is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just homeowners attempting to repair our own appliance. We are not responsible for anyone attempting this repair on their own. We are fun! Today's video, we're going to be changing the igniters in our old Maytag oven. Now, in our particular oven, they're interchangeable. We know that because we don't use the broiler, and when the oven one started to fail, we just swapped them. Well, now that one's going too. It's taking a long time to light, and sometimes it just doesn't light at all. So we're going to end up replacing both of them. What we need to do first is shut off the gas and shut off the electricity. I'm not doing that just yet, so I can show you where we're going to be doing these repairs. So the first thing after shutting that off, open the door. Grab hold, lift up, and remove. All right, now that the door's off, just push these two things back so you don't catch yourself on it. All right, I'm gonna put the, put the oven light on, remove the rack. Now this bottom panel down here, there are two screws in the back. They need to be removed, so I'm gonna remove those. Be right back. All right, so now that the screws are removed, what you want to do is lift up in the rear, push backwards to unhook the front, and lift it right open. Right here is your igniter. Now the wires for it go down underneath, so I'm going to need to pull the drawer out and work underneath. All right, this panel back here, and I have shut the electricity and the gas off now. This panel back here, there's two screws. You need to take those out. Okay, this is the plug that needs to be disconnected. So we reach back and just unplug it, and it's already done. All right, and this one now we'll be able to remove it right from here. Now that it's unplugged, we won't have to take the whole gas pipe out. So just unscrew it, two screws, hold it in. Taking my last screw out. All right, so pull this on up, and there you go. Well, I guess this could be part of the problem. Some of the wires on here are snapped. Oh, let me get closer. I guess that's what old age will do to you. Oh, I feel you. <laughs> this is the box the igniter came in. And what is included is a new cover panel. Those are ceramic wire ties. You'd need those if it doesn't match up. More cotton, new leads, again, in case the igniter doesn't line up with what you have. I believe we're gonna lock out because I believe that it does. Instructions on what to do. And the igniter itself. Be gentle. I am. <laughs> oh, it's pretty and shiny. <laughs> One better look. Thank you. Sparkly. Oh, look how sparkly that is. <laughs> As you can see, the clips look identical. Identical, except, except for, for one this of piece that just fell off. Our clips fell off. So we should be all set. Now flip them upwards. You can see they. Oh, they're backwards. You can see the flat spot on them. This end here is flat. Yep. They look the same to me. All right. So first things first. We'll stick the plug down through the hole. We'll. Plug it in after we get this attached. Again, the screws were no good, so we're going slightly larger. All right, so now it's mounted. We're gonna go underneath, plug it in. All right, so we just gotta plug it in. Again, awkward position. Hope I have it lined up right. Oh, bingo, I do. All right, that's all in. So what we're gonna do now is we'll put the metal plate back across here. All right, put the metal in, and screw it in. All right, just gonna put the two screws in and we're done down here. Okay, so this is the igniter for the broiler right here. We're going to remove the screw back here. That's a cover plate, that's where the plug is. And then up front here, we're going to take a screw out, drop it down, unplug it, and then pull it right out of the oven. So let me get that cover panel first. Off. I'm lower the front here. All 
All right, lower it down, pull it off the gas line, pull the plug through, that's the plug right there, and it's out. All right, so I already took the two screws out, and this is the unit right here. But if you notice, check out, oh, <laughs> one of them just broke. This wasn't going much longer anyway. Yeah, I think I was not going to be cooking very soon. Yeah, well, that's the one of the reasons why. But as compared to the other, you can see they're identical. All right, so the screws that were in there were way too loose. It was all wobbly, so going a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, but there's absolutely nothing on the other side, so it should not present any kind of a problem. It's a bug. All right, so this is the unit. It's screwed in, ready to plug in, put it back in. <laughs> All right, so let's remount this. First off, get it in here and plug it back in. All right, that's done. Let's push this through and get that around the wires. And push that one through. Mount this onto the gas line. up here, put the screw in, all right that one's in, now we'll put the cover in back here, okay that one is done. Now the moment of truth, we turn the electric back on, turn the gas back on, let's see if these igniters light up. It's starting to glow. And there we go, success. All right, so the oven's back together. The broiler works, the oven works. We're good to go. All that we have, need to do is put the oven door on. Remember, pull these out to the first stop. Grab your oven door, line up the slots, and trust me, you may not get it the first time, or the first few times. So let it drop down, boom, done. Now our old Maytag is good as new, and we thank you for watching. So until we repair something else, the end. And don't forget, we're not professionals, we're just homeowners. <laughs>